killer. Yo, what is going on guys? It's Gamer here, and I just want to go ahead and really quick apologize for uh, these videos coming up uh, really late. Um, I'm going to work on it, um, but tonight I'm going to be basically uh, bin binge recording a lot of videos in the next couple of videos that you do see that eventually do end up coming out to my channel. Um, you are going to going to obviously get them, but they're probably going to be out really late at night. And I want to go ahead and just really quickly say I apologize for that. I don't mean for me. I don't mean for myself to upload these videos really late. It's just kind of I've been in a situation where recording has been kind of like a struggle for me, and I have no idea why it's been so difficult for me as of lately. But I do have a proper recording setup now, and so you guys should be expecting videos coming out. Um, really really soon because I've also been playing a lot with my friends recently and so you guys are probably gonna see a lot more content with them uh, in the near future so be on the lookout for that but anyways uh, you guys all came to the, to the channel uh, for a reason and so I'm gonna go ahead and review uh, Dragon Ball Super episode 85 and I've tried recording this video like three other fucking times or two other fucking times so hopefully a third time's the charm and hopefully we can get this right but anyways, we are going to go. We're going to get our, right into the beginning of the episode, and it's Goku and Gohan, and they're going out to basically recruit the other fighters that are participating in the tournament of power. And so what happens is that Goku's going off to Dende's place so he can actually go and look for uh, Android 17, who, who we haven't seen since in the anime at the end of the Cell Saga and and the manga since basically after the whole cell bullshit stuff happened right and so basically uh, as Goku's on his way over to go to to look out where Dende is at uh, he actually runs into Majin Buu and then he actually has a little spar with him and with this spar he actually uh, gets to really see how well Buu is going to be doing in the actual tournament of power when it when of course it actually does end up happening and so uh goku and boo they go ahead and, ha and they have their spar and after that uh goku actually ends up losing losing the spar and it just kind of comes to shove that in a tournament of power it's not just up to raw strength you actually need to know what you're doing or else you're just gonna well end up losing the tournament and you're just gonna have your whole universe just get destroyed and so um, uh, before I actually leave it out because I actually forgot to mention it uh, Gohan went over to wherever the hell Piccolo is to go and recruit him but anyways uh, actually in, uh, in the episode we actually do see uh, a scene of the different Supreme Kai's of the other universes and they're basically just having a meeting discussing whether uh, whether or not they should go and ask Zeno to basically reconsider not blowing up their universes or destroying them I say blow up but I mean like destroying uh, their universes he's trying they're trying to gonna, gonna convince Zeno to uh, not destroy the universes but then they were like nah let's just have the tournament just to see which universe is obviously stronger because they all think that they're better than everyone which is kind of ironic but anyways uh, they go ahead and they uh, have the meeting but it doesn't work out they go ahead and just ultimately decide that let's just hold the tournament uh, see who's the strongest uh, universe because why the fuck not right and as that was happening the, uh, the gods destructions were actually having a meeting themselves which I find was kind of surprising because we haven't seen really too much from uh, the other gods destructions and angels and especially some supreme, supreme Kai's from other universes besides uh, uh, universe 10 I think universe 10 from what I remember I can't really remember off the top of my head right now I apologize and universe 6 to a decree right um, and not only that, but it basically kind of ends off uh, ends off the same way that the God's instructions and the Supreme Kai's are all agreeing uh, are all agreeing to the fact that they should just hold the tournament just just to see who's strongest. But let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit. Um, 
it, it kind of I'm kind of gonna skip forward a lot of what actually ends up happening uh, kind of for like the the second half of the episode because I didn't really find it too interesting basically all we really got to see was our first sight uh, of Jiden besides from the actual like opening cinematic uh, for uh, these past few episodes of Dragon Ball Super and not only that, we also got to see some action, uh, some fighting action with some other uh, Pride Trooper members from Universe 11. And so I find that really interesting because uh, it seems that uh, Pride Trooper members are going to be the main distinguished fighters for Universe 11, which shouldn't be surprising, but I feel like they would have uh, had different fighters uh, from Universe 11 just because you know, it's a it's there's a whole entire universe. They can't just distinguish out like other fighters who can actually be just as strong as any of the pride troopers. But what can you do, right? But anyways, the end of the episode basically kind of ends off with Goku uh, going over to Dende's place so he can go and find Android 17 or Junanago so that way he can actually recruit him to the team uh, for uh, the tournament of power and. Uh, we actually also see a scene with uh, Gohan and Piccolo and basically what they are doing is that I guess they're gonna have a spar or whatever so that way you know Gohan can actually well end up getting stronger because as we know he's not really the strongest guy uh, or he's not he's I'm not saying he's not strong I'm just saying that he's a lot weaker compared to what he was back in the cell arc and a lot of people are really excited to see what Gohan's going to be doing in the tournament of power and personally as a Gohan fan I'm really excited as well because well he's my favorite character what can I say you know and so other than that basically it's just it kind of ends off the episode there uh, there's really nothing else that happens besides the fact that Dende is going to go with Goku to go and look for Android 17 or Jun Nanago uh, in a Japanese version of Dragon Ball Super and that's that's basically it like like I'm saying but uh, I'm trying to keep this a little bit short uh, than other episodes or other videos that I've done for Dragon Ball Super because I have I've had to watch this episode uh, three times just because I completely forgot like everything that I wanted to say about the episode but not only that but I also have to record two other videos immediately after this so it's like I'm kind of stretching out, stressing out a little bit, but I'll be okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're brand new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing because hopefully one day this channel can become a, a little bit bigger than what it actually is now. And hopefully I can actually have a subscriber fan base who actually wants to watch my videos and just basically stuff like that. Anyways. Uh, for the last time for the video, uh, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.